Hello everybody, it is me, I am Kyle, that is Lack Lake. The day started off really early back in Queen Young. It's 5 a.m. and we're leaving Queen Young right now. After about six and a half hours or so, I finally made it here to Bumatok or Bangmetok or BMT, not to be confused with a BLT, but nobody will do that besides me. But here we are, I checked into my hotel uh, about an hour away from this place and did some work and I booked my tickets to go somewhere very exciting, very exciting. You'll know when the time comes, but anyways, Black Lake. Actually, well, let's go check out what that noise is in the background first. So one of the things that you can also do here is feed the elephants. So let's exactly do that. There you go. Oh my god. So powerful. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, so powerful guys. I smell the elephants. So. This reminds me of, uh, of my mom's childhood. My mom kept saying that she used to go to the zoo in Saigon and feed the elephants. Here you go. You want, you want one? Wow. There is something so scary crazy about feeding an elephant like that. It's not chained up or anything like that, guys. It can literally just turn to the left here and like charge at me right now. The sugar cane thing, hearing it chew like that. Oh, that's, that's bone, dude. The sugar cane is harder than my bones. Let's go, let's go to the lake, let's go to the lake. longest time this is one of the places that I haven't been able to go to here in Vietnam that I wanted to go to so today I finally get a chance to explore Lac Lake so join me You know, many people ask me all the time, do you ever get bored of Vietnam? Absolutely, but I never get bored of the nature in Vietnam. And many of you watching right now don't realize it, but Vietnam is full of beautiful natural places and Lac Lake is definitely not lacking in that department. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside though, when I first came over here in 2010, I didn't really have a good idea what this country looked like besides the motorbikes and the traffic and stuff like that in the streets, right? But once I got out of the south, and no offense to the south, I mean, there's some really, really beautiful uh, green pastures of rice and wheat and all that, but central Vietnam and north Vietnam boast some spectacular scenery. And I'm telling you guys, when you come to Vietnam, you got to see those sceneries and then you'll fall in love with the natural side of Vietnam. Cities are great too, but nature in Vietnam is completely underappreciated and a lot of VQ or Americans for that matter don't know about it. I've always wanted to come to this lake and I'm glad I got the chance. So for 150,000 dong for 45 minutes, that's about $7 or less, you get to experience a wooden boat ride. But make sure you're not drowsy. If you doze off, you will go overboard because this is literally 
about the width of my body and it is very slim one of the slimmest canoes literally a wooden canoe carved from a tree trunk um whoa 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 whoa, whoa. and it's leaning to the side and that was scary right so you got to keep whoa whoa you got to keep a center of balance um whoa whoa it's very scary <laughs> oh man, this is beautiful, guys. The the sun hitting the the uh, the waves right that like that, and the clouds, and just being out here in this massive lake, right? And and lakes, lakes fuel lives, right? People depend on lakes to live, the water to catch the fish, to bathe, to wash their clothes, man, right? And and for us, it's just, it's, oh, man, I just I love I love this experience, man. It's just oh, oh. Oftentimes during these travels, I never really get a chance to relax. But right now, at this very moment, I don't really have to worry about the camera focusing or shakiness or storyboards or angles or time lapses or anything like that. I can just kind of take a breath and relax and just enjoy the peaceful sounds of the waves thumping against my wooden boat. At the same time, I'm very, very scared about tipping over, but I trust our boatman and I trust this experience. I haven't been able to relax in like five days, and this is the first time. It's just, it's just beautiful out here, guys. I wish you were here to see it with me. Oh wait, you are here. <laughs> I'm happy to bring this content to you guys, I really am. Along the uh, edge of the Lack Lake, there is a, an ethnic minority village. Still houses galore. Definitely worth checking out. So let's do that right now. Right now, this <coughs> this does not feel like Vietnam at all. Ooh. 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 Wow. Well, this feels like another time period, another century in a sense, right? Except, I mean, of course, you have the uh, satellite dishes where you can watch Game of Thrones. Vietnamese hot belly pigs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, look at that. I feel like I am such a part of this right now. I don't even feel like a foreigner walking around. No one is even staring at me. Like I, I feel like I'm somebody from here returning home. That's how what I feel like. I had a dream the other night, right? That I played volleyball in an ethnic minority village here in Vietnam. I did it! I got it! I got a point! For me, this is really interesting because there's really no privacy, right? Everybody knows everybody here. Everybody's like interconnected. Ở ở đây ở ở đây có gấu không chú? Gấu hả? Dạ. Yeah. Gấu nước à? Gấu nước không luôn. Không có hả? Mà có hải tặc đúng không? It's like the only thing that separates me that elephant is a small body of water. 
and some mud in this wooden boat that it could easily capsize.